Welcome back. Well, this is Jeff, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the abomination of desolation found in Matthew 24, 15, which follows Matthew 24, 14, where Jesus says that this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all nations, and then the end will come. So we have to ask ourselves, when are we today? Are we before the time that the gospel has been preached to all the nations? or at about the time that the gospel has been preached to all the nations. Remember Jesus said this back in the first century. Somehow Jesus knew that the gospel of the kingdom that was only open to the Jews at that time would be preached in all the world. And so today, yes, there are Christians in China, there are Christians in the South Pacific, there's Christians in South America, there's Christians in North Korea. The gospel has been preached all over the world. Has it reached every single people group? all nations. Um, that remains to be seen. We're still here. But he says, when that happens, the end will come, and this abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, will stand in the holy place. And this holy place is in the temple. There's no temple yet, so we're not quite there yet, but we're very, very close. Okay? Now, there are two places in the book of Daniel where it mentions the abomination of desolation. One's in Daniel 9.27, where in conjunction with this appearance of this abomination of desolation, the sacrifice and offering ceases. So there's sacrifice and offering going on, probably a temple is in place for that to happen. Now we get into Daniel chapter 12 verse 11, it talks about the sacrifice and offering ceasing too, but mentions two time frames from the time this is set up until the end. And the first one is 1290 days. And then in verse 12, chapter 12, verse 12, it's a special blessing to those who wait until the 1335 days. Now, I'm not going to concern myself with that. That's, that's too far ahead. All we're concerned with is this abomination of desolation and exactly what it is. So in Daniel 9.27, it tells us, and for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. Um, what makes this a little difficult is that this doesn't sound like something that's set up in the temple. It sounds like something that happens, like there's this overspreading of abominations. Um, because they, or whoever, does this overspreading of abominations, he, whoever that is, will make something desolate. doesn't sound anything like something set up in the temple, an abomination of desolation standing in a holy place in the temple. And that's the King James 1611, how they put that phrase together. And the phrase itself, if you look at some of the older commentaries, maybe some of the newer ones, will let you know that the original phrase is, even in Hebrew, somewhat obscure. And I believe God does that for a reason, because he likes for us to search, and he likes to keep things hidden until the time is right for it to be revealed. That's, that's how God works. And so what I've done... Because so I've just broken down these two words, the and for and overspreading from the King James, to get a sense of what it's talking about. And of course, our context is Jesus Christ, who says that this abomination of desolation was spoken of by Daniel the prophet. So, we have this first two words that the King James says, and for. Um, this is the Hebrew word, and we might pronounce it ah, and that means in placement in relation to something else, as in upon, or adjoining, against, between, etc. It's from the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary. It's basically something placed in conjunction with something else in close proximity. And that's the Hebrew word that the King James has translated and for. The next word is kanaf, overspreading. And the word's wing or wings, it could be plural, and this, they, he's, they figured wings means overspreading, but actually it's the same word used for wings of the cherubim in both the tabernacle and the temple. Tabernacle in Exodus 25, 18 through 20, temple, 2 Chronicles 5, 7 and 8. So we're talking about the placement of, of some kind of abomination in close proximity to wings and those cherubim are in the temple. This is the abomination of desolation 
that Jesus was talking about. 